Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to do the image classification, the supervised classification uh, with Google Earth Engine Explorer. So uh, here is the interface of Google Earth Engine and you can do this analysis when you sign in with the Google Earth Engine. So I have to zoom in to the location that I want to do the analysis. So you can use the search bar here and I can type I can type Cambodia, it's my country, so I want to do the image classification in here. So uh, I can add the data by click on here, add data, and I can add the Lensa TOA percentile composite here, or I can search for another data such as Lensa. Yeah, a lot of Lensa data. Available here, but there is another way to uh, to to add the data by clicking on the data catalog and I use the Landsat TOA and I'm looking for the Landsat 8. Uh, it's Landsat 8, but I want the 32 days. Yeah, Landsat 8, 32 days, and click it. And this this you can with this tool you can go to the the date or the image that you want. I, I want the January. I want January. And with this tool, I can use to make the band combination. I, now I have 432 for the lens and X. So I can click apply and sell. And here is a map of the lens and data of Cambodia. So I will do the image classification. I will go to analysis and I click event classifier and then I will say add data and with the classifier you can use my hand menus or you can do the polygons pushing across so I want to do the menu so I click on here and I click add class and my first class is water my first class is water and I design assign the color of the water okay, okay. And then I go to the water and give the training, give the class to it. So here is water, 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 water. And I add another class for land. Or non forest, non forest, non forest, or non forest, and then I can click any place. Again, this is just for only for example, so I will not, uh, I will not think about the accuracy of this classification. So I just click wherever I want, and then I will add another class and I call it forest, and I will use it to click on. Uh, the place that I think there is a forest and the green, dark green. Here is the dense forest for Cambodia. And forest, the flooded forest. And where are the forests are? So here. And last but not least, I will add one more class. We call it cloud. And I view it with a white color, the black one, yeah, with the black, with the black one for the cloud. Then I click it, cloud, cloud, cloud. There is a cloud here, cloud here, and cloud here. After I give the training or I give the data on the class, I can click on the training classifiers. And if I have the fusion table, I can also add the data with the fusion table by click on add data and then I can use the fusion table to connect to my class to add more points. But now I want to do the analysis so I can click on training classifier. We take only a few seconds and it generate the results. The result here it is. 
and I can turn off, click here to turn off the, the data so we will see only the classifications I just give I just want to give you an uh, one one more idea is that you can do this classification with better with better result if you add the ND, NDVI data set to identify the, the forest areas and you can see the result of the accuracy overall validity 80.7 percent and you can see the first the percentage of each class like this and you can download it the layer by the way and you can click it download so it will give you in D file and you can view it or map it on your application thank you very much if you have any question drop downstairs